All right, let's get started. Uh, I am honored to be joined by Mayor Pro Tem Dave Martin and by the uh, Chief Medical um, and Doctor for the city, uh, Dr. Purse. Um, look, at a time when everyone is focusing on the 2020 election, and I do want to encourage people to vote and to vote early uh, on or before October the 3rd, 30th and the last day being November 3rd, uh, and uh, Halloween festivities and the upcoming holidays. I also want to strongly encourage everyone not to forget uh, that we are fighting a global pandemic and we are not uh, anywhere out of the woods. In fact, uh, some experts believe Houston could eventually uh, be facing a third wave or at least another surge of this virus and we are, uh, we are experiencing an increase in people testing positive uh, for COVID-19. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all of these particular holidays certainly will be different. Uh, and how we uh, gather for these, act uh, these holidays will be different uh, because of the coronavirus. Today, the Houston Health Department uh, is reporting 168 uh, new cases of COVID-19, uh, bringing Houston's total to 83,158, so 168 new cases. Of the 168 cases reported today, 76% uh, uh, have specimen dates within the last 14 days. Uh, today, the city's total death count remains at 1,315. There are no new um, reported deaths today. Uh, that's a positive news, and I certainly want to underscore that. So no new deaths uh, are we reporting today, and of course, uh, that is subject to change uh, tomorrow and the days to come. You know, we had suspended holding these 3 o'clock press conferences for, uh, for a moment. You know, we didn't do them like last week. Um, um, uh, quite frankly, um, um, as the positivity rate went down. But based on what we are seeing all over the country, based on what we are seeing in West Texas, and with the holidays quickly approaching, uh, we felt compelled uh, to start bringing these conferences back on a more regular basis. I know people are tired of uh, conversation of dealing with COVID-19, um, but re reality is, is this virus is surging in other parts of the United States, and this virus is surging in West Texas. And so it's important for us to have this continuing conversation with people in the city of Houston as we move forward. Um, this week, the Houston COVID-19 positivity rate has climbed back up again. Uh, today, we are reporting a positivity rate of 6.5%. If you can recall, a few weeks ago, uh, the positivity rate had come down to 5%, which was our goal. And then really the goal was to drive it down even further. Um, and then last week, the positivity rate went back up to 5.6%. And uh, today, we are reporting the positivity rate is up to 6.5%. And so it's moving for us, it's moving in the wrong direction. Before it goes much further than that, it is important for us to sound the alarm uh, for people in the city of Houston uh, to remind people uh, that this virus, how we manage this virus, in large part depends on us, okay? Our behavior, how we respond, uh, whether or not we put on these masks when we're in the presence of others, whether or not we are social distancing, whether or not we are washing our hands, uh, whether or not we are holding these parties, uh, at our homes, in our backyards, uh, on, the, on, our, on the blocks of our neighborhood. All of those things really determine how uh, much of a spread takes place within our community and the positivity rate. So today we simply want to sound, sound the alarm that what we did um, uh, during the summer uh, to bring this virus back under some degree of control are the same things we need to do as we move forward into the rest of this year. So we have a, a graphic to illustrate um, this. The red bars 
and indicate recent cases within 14 days of the date uh, they were reported, and the number of recent cases reported daily is beginning to again increase. These metrics are concerning and I am worried that this could be the first signs of a trend in the wrong direction that could sicken more Houstonians and strain our hospital system. We have the power right now uh, to stop this uptick before it even becomes a trend. And we have the power uh, to stop this virus from getting out of hand uh, like what we are seeing in other parts of the country and in West Texas. So I'm asking uh, people in the city of Houston uh, to please to continue to wear your mask, uh, practice social distancing, follow good hygiene guidelines, and please, please get tested. You know, I have been tested probably a dozen times or more myself. Recently, I was tested on Friday, got the results back uh, the following day, uh, negative. Uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, I, have, I let my guard down it simply means up to the point that I got tested, I was negative. But it's also important that the day after and the day after that and the week after that, that I continue to put on this mask. And you've seen me at a number of events, and sometimes I have on one, and sometimes I have on two. Uh, uh, so I'm asking you to do the same. If you do test positive, please answer the call email a text message from our contact tracers so we can break the chain of this transmission. We are better together. Let's work together to stop the spread. We slowed this virus before, and I do know that we can help to prevent another surge of this virus coming into the city of Houston. 